What I do hope to do is I hope to provide a persuasive argument, a persuasive policy argument that will uh, get all of us together here in the Manatee County community to look at all of the impacts uh, of the flyover, uh, tangible as well as the intangible, the negative effects that uh, such a, uh, I guess, a drastic um, uh, construction project will take on our urban core. Uh, the topic you have is, uh, is rush hour, but no one is moving. Is a flyover the best solution? I think that uh, the proposed flyover, in my opinion, it should be an effective and efficient use of public funds, or it should be deleted as an alternative, and it must prove to be a solution to the congestion problems. And this is mostly because of the negative impacts that uh, such a project can have on the character of our city. The Central Manatee Network Analysis Study, they introduced the first street, US 41301 Tamami Trail flyover as a possible alternative. And at that time, it featured the local lanes at the ground level with the elevated thoroughway in the, in the uh, median. The main focus today is whether a flyover along US 41 and US 301 corridor will be a viable solution to the congestion problem. 